Okay, in this presentation, I will show you how to find the area of overlapping circles. So the problem asks me to find the area of the region bounded by both circles. So the first step in finding it is to find the centers. And the blue one is minus 2 comma 5. And the radius is... Five st the root of 5 squared plus 1 squared, which is root 26. Which is the exact answer. And for the red one, the radius is 4 and the center is minus 5 comma 4. And next, you can make the equations of both circles. So the equation of the first circle is x plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 26 which is the radius squared and the second one is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to the 16 since we got the equation of the circle, it's time to find the central angle of that triangle. So the first step uh, is to, to draw that segment. Just to split it into two congruent adjacent right triangles. And these two are right triangles. Since the radius is 4, the diameter is 8. And since that's a curve, I use the diagram theorem which is 3 to the right and 1 up. And 3 squared plus 1 squared is... is 9 plus 1 equals 10, and I take the square root of it and, got, and get... root 10, or 3.17. And the next step is to take the inverse tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is 4 and the adjacent is 3.17 and I do this on a calculator and, and that, now I get that the, the angle is equal to 51.671 degrees but that, that's not the central angle so all you need to do is multiply that by 2 and, and I get that the central angle is 103.342 degrees. So the next step I do is find the area of the circles. So the equation of the area of the circle is pi r squared. Pi r squared. To find the, the a circle, it's pi 4 squared which is equal to 16 pi. I, I, I use the calculator and I get 16 pi and I use the calculator to approximate it and I get about 50.625 to find the area of the other circle it's like the same thing but it's just pi root 26 squared and I do it on a calculator and I get 26 pi which is the exact answer or the approximate answer is 81.681 so that's how to find the area of, of both of the circles so the fourth step in finding the area of overlapping circles is it starts with stuff from the previous step that the area of the blue circle is about 81.681. Sloppy, but for the text, it's... It's very simple. What do you do with that? But first, I divide it by 360. And multiply it by... The central angle, which is 
and the result is 23.447. So, so far I found the area of, thi of this part. This is just some of the region bound by both circles, but not all. I'll find what that area is later. But the next step is to find the area of this right triangle. The area of the triangle equals one half BH. The base is always perpendicular to its height. So the equation is the area of the triangle equals one half times eight times 3.17 and multiply 8 by 1 half and I got 4 times 3.17 and using a calculator I get it's equal to 12.649 and if you can see it, the area of the of this triangle is 12.649. So one way to find the area of this sector is to find the area of the semicircle, since the area of the red circle is 50.625. I just divide it by two, and it's 25.133. And then in the next step I do is subtract the area of the triangle from the sector and I get what's left. So actually it's just 25.133 which is the area of the semicircle minus the area of triangle is equal to this part which is sector B. So it's actually 25.1333 minus 12.649. And I do it on the calculator and I get that the area of this sector is equal to 12.184. So finally now we can find now we have the sub areas to find the area of the overlapping circles. Which is equal to the this sector plus that sector. So the area of overlapping circles is equal to sector A plus sector B. 23.447 is early in the problem plus sector B which is 12.184 is equal to the area of overlapping circles. And the final answer is area is equal to 35.631 and we're done! We finally found the area of the region bound by both circles. And thus the area is 35.631 units.